Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and today you're joining me for a few of my thoughts on my first two weeks with my new backpack. This is the Osprey Hypelite 26 and I've got to say it's by far the fanciest backpack I've ever owned, especially in this smaller day hiking size and I am absolutely blown away by it. Hopefully you're seeing on screen already me giving you a quick run through and closer look at some of the pockets and the general layout of the backpack. But rest assured, I, uh, I absolutely love it, as simple as that. This isn't a sponsored video in any way, shape or form, although I will see if I can put an Amazon Associates link down below if you're interested in one of these. But all in all, I'd say they've thought about pretty much everything. And I've also found one particular thing that I'll just mention now that I think is going to immediately improve its utility for me and the way that I will be using it. So it comes with a waterproof bag cover which sits just in the base of the bag has a very thin small pocket right at the bottom and that is detachable rather handily so what i'm intending to do is basically as soon as this video review is done i'll take that waterproof bag out and then just put my very thin light waterproof trousers and coat in it and that means i'm carrying maybe I don't know, barely any extra weight on walks, but I've got a compartment separate from the main section that's always there, completely out of the way, but also easily within reach with my waterproofs in, ready in a moment's notice. And also, if I've got wet clothes or those waterproofs themselves are wet, should I say, I can then put them back into that separate pocket and not worry about fetching a lot of moisture into the main compartment. I suppose that now I've said that I would ditch the waterproof cover, I should just open this review by actually showing you it in action as part of what actually comes with the bag. So like I say, you can see just a really small, simple sliver of a pouch at the base of the backpack that has nothing but the waterproof compartment. Luckily it's attached via a toggle, so it's easy to completely detach without damaging anything. I've just put a sleeping bag in the backpack for now, just for the sake of giving you a look at what this bag looks like. And it's easier to understand and look at it when it's full rather than just a tangled blob of crushed up pockets. So again, nothing extraordinary, nothing particularly difficult or, a uh, high concept here. It's a waterproof cover. It's basically a giant shower cap that goes over your bag. It does have a little toggle on it so you can pull a drawstring so that it can go really tight, obviously, depending how full or empty your backpack is when it's in use. But for me personally, as much as it's great and it's good to have, and I do like the fact it's a nice bright colour, the Osprey logo, although it's not much, it is at least some degree of reflective uh, element to that as well. But as I say, this is what I'm going to be using it for. Simple light pair of waterproof trousers and a waterproof coat. As you can see, even without particularly trying to uh, do it neatly, I'm just shoving them in there. And then obviously I know, well, if I need them, there they are. Now, when we get to looking at the straps themselves, which is probably one of the more interesting elements of this backpack, I would say you've got a first look at the whole thing as the back section of the backpack as a whole. Like I say, this is fancier than any sort of backpack I've ever had before. So basically, you've got a soft material mesh that is sort of suspended and pulled tight around a metal frame that's built into the back of the main bag compartment itself. Interestingly, you've got these little toggles at the top, which I think are going to be very useful, where you can pull them tighter or loosen them off to adjust how much load is directly going over those straps over your shoulder and the back of your neck. So that's just something I thought was a very interesting feature, and it's almost difficult to, to describe how it shifts the weight around your backpack if you're somebody who likes to use the waist straps and things like that, which I'm not the biggest fan of the waist straps, but certainly in one second you're going to see just how well all of these various straps together can absolutely lock this bag to your back. Now something I will say is that if you're not a fan of uh, waist straps then these look very easy to remove without damaging any part or element of the bag and then also easy to reattach if you so wished. So I'll see how I go. They're also easy to uh, put together, just tidy up and put out of the way without again doing anything too drastic that doesn't mean they can't just be used at a moment's notice if you fancy it when you're halfway up a hill. So this is me tightening all the straps, the sternum strap and everything and the bounce test 
fast, I was amazed at how little movement there actually was. And yes, my friends, the sternum strap even has a whistle built in. Now, I just want to briefly touch on these side pockets. I've seen other people say that it's a weak point in the bag, and you can see that they are absolutely massive. So not only does that mean if you, uh, somebody likes to keep a bottle of water or something like that in the side pockets, is that it's a very big pocket for something like that, but the elastic is a little bit flimsy as well, I'd say. So you can put some, well, you can put quite a lot of stuff in there, but you can't really lock it down and secure it very well. So again, I would go with caution before you put anything too valuable in there. Now here, I'm just trying to show you the compression straps. So this is just to tighten one side up completely and loosen the other side off totally as well. So you can see that nice big open space, full width of the bag and full capacity there, nice and loose, etc, etc. Nothing uh, to go too wild and shout about. And then on this side, you can see with them pulled right up, obviously you've got a lot of excess strap, but I'm sure you could find a way to put that in. But more importantly, the top straps have got a simple buckle mechanism on them. So it means that, for example, when I was using this bag to fetch some shopping from a supermarket the other day, I started to put stuff into my backpack and I thought, flipping heck, this is so small. Well, goodness me, well, how is this so much smaller than I thought it was going to be? And then, lo and behold, I realised, oh, I've got all the compression straps really tightly done up. And so, again, something as simple as slacking them off or undoing the buckles, suddenly I felt like I had about quadruple the capacity to go in the backpack. And of course, with the lower compression straps, it means I can a lot easier lock down a lot of stuff. Like, so if I've got heavy cans of pop or something like that at the base of the bag, I can use the lower compression straps to help lock those into place. Now, this feature, this outer sort of just... I don't know what you'd call it, just this loose pocket that's on the edge of the top compression straps is probably one of the handiest features. Now here, I wasn't really sure how best to use it, but if you're somebody who's been up and down a mountain or two in your time, you will know that on the way up, you will often find yourself absolutely sweating, then getting windswept when you go over a ridge. So your backpack is constantly coming off to put a coat on, take a coat off, layer, de-layer, etc. And so that external pocket that you can just shove a top layer into is very handy indeed, although I made a terrible job of it there. So let's see if I can do it better now. This external stuffing pocket, as I'm going to uh, call it, once again makes great use of having all of these compression straps. As you can see, the straps go to the actual top corners of that pouch. So it means, obviously, you can stuff something in there, like my light fleece coat, and then use those upper straps to really lock it down into place. So once again here, I'm just pulling that side both tight, so that you can then see the open straps on the other side, just how much the contents of the backpack can be compressed in together, or expanded, or given space. I've got to say, once again, I've never had such a fancy backpack as this, and the only reason I've got this is because it's a birthday present and it's actually blinded me with science to a certain extent. There's just so much going on with it and so many options and as I say, using these top little straps as toggles, I, I can't express how it just somehow shifts where the weight is or how it feels it is on your back. Oh, I should note as well, if you've got a camel back or some sort of hydration system, if I must use the proper terms, it's also obviously got the little pouches and space for that to all go in the backpack and then come out to your straps so then you can easily access your drink through a big straw. But yeah, all in all, I absolutely love it. And well, I hope that that's quite enough backpack talk for you for one video. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick look at my new backpack. I've got to say, I am tremendously pleased with it. Check the links in the description if you want to find it on Amazon and any more about my general life and my books and goodness knows what else. And for more of the great outdoors, please do subscribe. And well, I hope to see you around soon. Farewell, my friends.